Hello everybody, this is Theron. Whoa, pop, pop, pop. Welcome to Minecraft Land Party. We're making a mess. If this looks familiar, it's because it's a replica of the sorting system that I have at the Guardian Farm. Because I wanted to play around with improving it, like adding a few things. And so initially I just built kind of exactly the same, the same thing so I could test it and compare. So then I thought, well, let's, let's do a water stream over the hoppers. So like this, typical, seen things like this before. It's, oh wow, ha, huh. interesting. Uh, so this is uh, using packed ice on the bottom, water flowing, and before the water runs out, and a little bit early in this case, because I wanted to get all the way around the corner, I blocked it off and put in another source block, and there's a, a slab there in the water block, and then I put a couple cakes, and uh, they have less than a full hitbox. Uh, ender chests will work uh, so all the items come along the stream and then get jammed up along this edge and they kind of stream over between these two blocks so they get picked up by the hoppers okay and then I have a overflow hopper down here and they get picked up and go through the sorting system as like okay well that's that's all fine and dandy but can we improve this so I had this kind of kooky idea of replacing the top row of hoppers, which just stream along. Uh, in this case, I got rid of it, and it's replaced by the water stream. So normally, the top row of hoppers there, bloop, just go along, and you're kind of waiting for things to flow through the hoppers. So that's what I wanted to replace with the water stream. And then I thought, well, what can we do to help make sure that, you know, the first hopper here, which which picks up, um, in this case, prismarine shards, actually picks up all the prismarine shards as they go by, and that overflow doesn't start to spill over into subsequent uh, sorter chunks. Uh, so I thought, oh, well, maybe instead of having the water flow alongside like this, we can put the water flowing over and use hopper minecarts to pick up through the ice so if a hopper minecart like this sitting on a track like this items flowing over the top of the ice will actually pick up into the hopper minecart woo okay seems like a great idea but then i kind of forgot that well you still need stuff to flow along and you can't get the hoppers and the hopper minecart to flow into one another so basically this hopper minecart picks up everything it can whether or not it will go down into this slice of the sorter. So, so this uh, this was a failure. It does not work. Uh, so then I realized, well, they need to feed into the hopper chain that flows along underneath, which might kind of negate the whole point, but I still wanted to try it. So I built up this. So we have a row of hoppers that flows along. I've got powered rails that sit on top of that. I use powered rails because in theory, because they're not powered, and in theory, uh, they will prevent the minecart from moving if I accidentally bump into it. And I didn't put anything on the side to hold these in place, or I removed it. Because, well, we'll see. If we go and confirm here that all these are empty. And what I found was, when I stood up here, whoop, and if I stood up here and I just threw in all this stuff, sometimes stuff would go missing. So it flows through, and it flows through pretty nicely. As you can see, it's all going through these two sorters right now, And but, but the stuff will eventually make it down farther along. See, this hopper picked up all kinds of stuff because I threw more than five stacks of stuff at it. It has to go along here and it has to clear out the first item first. In both of these cases, it's prismarine shards. So when that clears out, then it'll start going in and then this one will start going because these two are prismarine crystals. So, okay. 
that's all fine and dandy. And when this gets done, flowing through all that stuff, it actually moves out of the hopper minecarts pretty quickly. I think faster than hopper hopper motion. Uh, so it'll then, but it passes down into here and then passes along. Um, so I don't know if it's that much faster, but now this hopper minecart is empty. And this one and these two are still gone. When they finish up, we'll take a look at what we get. So I find, as you just saw, that when you see the last bit go through the, the hopper underneath the hopper minecart that it came through, uh, it's, it's pretty much immediately done sorting. So if we come here and pull out one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so it's making a liar out of me, but what I found was when I was throwing stuff in, especially a full stack at a time, stuff was disappearing, like it was getting lost, and I couldn't figure out exactly why. Um, and so I built a little dispenser mechanism down here. Oh, which is currently full. So I've got a full dropper of stuff here, which is nine stacks. And if I throw the switch, it'll start pushing up through. It'll push this uh, piston here, put these two observers face to face. It'll do a fast clock. It'll start pushing all the stuff up and it'll go up faster, significantly faster than what I currently have at the Guardian Farm, which takes, as I think I said last episode, it takes almost 10 minutes to clear out a full dropper worth of items, because it's like one per second. And this goes two and a half times faster, so uh, it's a couple of minutes and it's done. Fill in, clearing out the entire, the entire uh, dropper. So, I thought this was going to work, but then I then I was finding that stuff went missing, and it would be, it'd be like stacks of stuff at a time, and I couldn't figure out where it was going. Sitting here with hitboxes showing, I was looking for stuff, trying to see it spitting out the side. I only put the sort of the cross style item elevator here, and every now and then something would pop out through one of the corners here, but that wasn't accounting for what I was seeing. And I was having a lot of trouble finding it. And then I finally noticed what it was. <laughs> and stuff, when it comes up here, it pops up into the water. The water starts pushing it this direction. But it's got a little bit of angular momentum. It can go, you know, over here. It can go over there. So if I throw these in again. Oops. If I throw these in again. Let's see if I can force it to happen. No, of course not. It's it's going to not happen to me. But what, what I saw happening was an item, especially if you're dispensing a bunch of them at once. So let's turn this guy on. And they start going up. Woohoo. So now I should end up with like 18 stacks of, of items. And notice that they don't all go exactly parallel with the water. Some of them go, they have a little bit of angle. They go, some go off this way a little bit, some go off that way a little bit. And I was a little concerned because some of the items seem to pop out of the water like that. They're like salmon trying to swim upstream, pop, pop, pop. And what would happen, and we'll see if we can see it happen here, although I won't wait too long for it. One item would kind of get stuck along the wall here. It would get glitched into a block almost. And you can and you can kind of see a little bit. Whoops. Um, you can see items that, that like kind of pop up and they kind of get stuck for a moment, like that right there. And then they do the same thing along the walls here. And then other items of the same of the same type would come along and they'd clump up and eventually you get like a stack of items that are like glitched in the wall here and they'd be trying to move forward but they just couldn't. And then you might get another one over on this side and. And if, and they would sometimes move along slowly, but really slowly, and sometimes they wouldn't. And if they didn't get dislodged and actually into the water stream within the five minutes, they would despawn. So I was getting for this run of uh, at a full, a full droppers worth of items, I would typically lose one or two stacks of something. And it was very frustrating. 
and of course it's not going to happen now but you can see like some stuff's going along this side some stuff going along this side when it gets up here it gets pushed against this wall and everything's moving along smoothly because it's all moving in a uniform direction but here i think there's some variability in which direction it goes now see oh look uh, something got lost six prismarine crystals and i don't know where those got dislodged how those popped out but they appear to have so go along. okay so this one looks like it's going to end up working and that's fine so it's going along it's doing its thing oh, it's interesting that it's this slice not that slice what's going on here oh it's all uh, prismarine crystals got hoppers in here okay our shards in there so I experimented a lot with instead of using it didn't seem like it was getting caught on the slabs but instead of using slabs I used trap doors and instead of using regular blocks along the side I was building the sides out of ice I was trying all kinds of stuff and replacing this block of glass at the top of the elevator with a block of ice putting things along the top you know putting blocks along the top of the the stream here to make sure nothing could pop out of the water and I just, I could not get it to work reliably. Occasionally I would get a full load of items through, but then next time I would run it and there would be two stacks of block, uh, two stacks of items missing. So after playing along and realizing what it was and sitting there watching like this stack of items kind of slowly getting pushed along, slowly getting pushed along, I realized, or I had a brainstorm that this works super reliably. And what I do is I put a little S curve in here, a little water trap. So the items come up, they pop up here. So they're going along. And the thing is every block that they move into, the water's moving a different direction. It slows things down a little bit, but they still move plenty fast. And then once they get out here into this one, then they start zipping along and they're along the edge here. And it seems to go just fine along the edge here. And this works beautifully. So let me make sure that I don't have anything in here. Okay, good. And here I have a, a full dropper and then I've got two hopper chains feeding it from a chest. And this sort of simulates what I'm expecting to actually be. Oh, in case it's not obvious what's going on here, I'm using this to lock this uh, this repeater in the off position until I decide I want it to turn on. So this one here, if I put some items inside this dropper, this comparator would pick up and say, oh, there's something in here. This this repeater would make it power this, uh, this line of redstone, which would, you know, push out the thing. But if I light up this, it locks this repeater in the off position and until I enable it nothing will go through that's what's going on here uh, and then I was having an interesting problem where when I got a small number of items in the dropper like where there was one item in there periodically this piston would go in and out it would go ch -ch 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 -ch, and it would sometimes leave the observer it would be a one tick pulse and it would leave the observers facing each other and the clock would get stuck on sometimes it would turn the clock on and off it was very annoying and so i figured if i feed with two droppers feeding into this sorry two hoppers feeding into this dropper which is kind of what i plan to do in the guardian farm then this guy always fills up as fast as he's able to dispense so if i do this he pops up pretty good so this it's a full double chest filled with uh, crystals and shards, prismarine crystals and prismarine shards. And you can see what's happening here is the water. And even if it got stuck, even if it wanted to get stuck on the wall here, if it pushed forward at all, it would then get run around the corner. And as I said, these blocks, these items are moving too quickly. They get slowed down a little bit by this little detour, but it works. And it works reliably and then by filling out a full three by three uh, set of blocks on the item elevator then uh, nothing spits out you know on the corners 
So this all works really nicely. And um, I'm surprised that this isn't sort of the standard way of doing this because, or maybe people just don't realize that regardless of what type of blocks they are, the items can get stuck in the blocks and, uh, and then you lose items. And I don't want to, you know, losing a stack of prismarine shards every now and then, not the worst thing in the world, but don't want to lose um, don't want to be losing items build a farm in order to get them so so and this uses the, uh, the I'm switch over to using the trap doors to block the water um, this is something that may change in uh, 1.14 we will see but in the meantime I want to be able to run this and get as many items flowing without a huge chain of hoppers feeding into the sorting system as possible and I think by doing this it's it'll work out and as you see it's going along and it's doing its thing as I said it's a full double chest worth of items so they flow into here pretty quickly and they flow out and as you can see this hopper minecart is handling it pretty good when this fills up and it will fill up here because it grabs from the items from the top of the ice pretty uh pretty pretty efficiently it'll start stuff will move over into the second uh the second hopper minecart here but uh but this works and then i have an overflow to pick up any to see if it gets past one of the problems with the guardian farm sorting system that i had on the server last year last season was that uh we get a lot of overflow so stuff would be you know, if I had, like in this case, I have four sorter slices dedicated to the prismarine shards and two to the crystals. And we would see that they would just flow over and they couldn't get picked up by the hoppers fast enough. And eventually uh, it would, some of them would end up in the overflow. And this, I'm happy to say, seems to work efficiently enough that I have never seen in my test runs um, which you know come with certain assumptions uh, this if if I let this run long enough I put multiple chests here fill them all up over time it might overflow more than just this hopper minecart it might also fill up the second one and third and so on but it would be interesting to see how long it would take to actually go through and do that and then of course it pulls out of here down into this hopper chain which feeds along and drops into the sorter and the sorter can only go at hopper speed anyway so uh, I think it works out you can see it's uh yeah it's working and you can see the redstone triggering here so we've got two different hopper slices doing their thing and this one got has uh, prismarine crystals in the first slot so that's why it's not going into this um into this sorter uh slice which isn't the worst thing in the world it uh it, it ends up working out i like this i think this is a i think this is a clever way of making sure that you get all your stuff as you can see very little of it's getting past this point here this block here is where the second hopper minecart is and eventually, again, they will fill that one up as well. But I don't know how long it'll take. It's it's doing pretty well. This guy's saturated, but this one is still keeping up pretty much. Yeah. So anyway, this is my sort of genius idea. Um, I'm. It, this took me... I kept sort of cloning copies of what I was building so that I could work on a copy of it without having to go back and undo just in case I built something out that didn't work. Um, so that's why there's so many of these sitting around. But this one, this is the one that works. It seems to work reliably. I don't even need to put a cover on this, although I probably will in uh, on the server just simply because I don't want... To risk any anything being able to spawn on the trap doors or I don't know. I'm a little paranoid. 
But you can see everything gets sucked up by the time it gets here. I think this is pretty good. Uh, and I, I feel very proud of this design. It took me it took me multiple days to get here. That's why I haven't done this any of this brainstorming or troubleshooting on camera. Um, we will wait and see how far this is going. Um, yes, he's got, still got a little ways to go. Let's wait for it to uh, clear out, and then we will see. See, uh, make sure that we end up with the same number of items as we're in that chest to start with. Okay, so it's all done, and there is exactly one prismarine shard that is sitting on the ground over here. Not entirely sure why. Um, but let's get rid of that. I don't know if that popped over the edge here. Glitched through a block. Glitched out of the elevator. Don't know. So that's one item that's been lost. Let's go get the rest of these and pop them in here. So that's 63 shards on this one so that's that's where the missing one should be and then these oops go grab these let's put them all in here so we're missing precisely one item out of an entire double chest and that is the first time that i've seen this particular system uh drop items on the floor here so so i think we're in pretty good shape uh, and it did it pretty quickly. I ran this one again to try and see if I could catch some uh, wall glitching going on. And of course, while I'm, now I'm recording it, it kind of refuses to do it. But uh, but it happens. I know it happens. I've seen it. And and I that's why I need to come up with a fix. Ah ah, come on. There we go. Um, so this is this is all good so there we go so this is my this is my clever uh item sorter transportation stream sort of fix to deal with the uh, lost items how to uh, how to avoid losing items in the water stream at the top of an item elevator which might not be a huge problem, but it seemed like a pretty bad uh, problem to me. And given that on this one here, I was getting pretty consistently uh, full droppers worth of stuff, losing one or two stacks of items, which is kind of contrary to the point of having a farm. So there you go. I think that's it. I need to take this idea and sort of build it in to the Guardian farm on Minecraft Land Party. And... Uh, I need to get two hopper streams into the dropper and then I need to rebuild the uh, activation bit at the bottom I know how to do that and then I need to sort of build this along the top on top of the sorter that's already there which is the nice thing is all the stuff up to this point exists all I have to do is build up a few more blocks on top of it which means a little bit of digging it's a little tedious but it'll work and then we'll have a faster, more efficient sorting system without having to actually mess with the sorting system too terribly much. So there you go. And I'll show you that when it gets done. But until then, thank you for watching. This is Theron, and this is Minecraft Land Party, even though I'm coming to you from my creative server. All right, thanks for watching. Bye. Here we go. Here's an item, here's a group of items that is stuck in the blocks here a little bit and slowly making its way along and it might eventually get uh, get loose and flow along in the water. Or, as I think I'm finding things on the ground over here, I think it might actually be items glitching through the blocks and out the other side which is causing them to fall on the ground so see this is this is going here and it's slowly moving along it started over here and it's slowly making its way along but if it doesn't complete if it doesn't get unstuck oh it moved a little bit further there if it and it seems to be although that's not always the case at a block boundary here 
If it doesn't get unstuck in time, it will just despawn. So, not crazy. It actually happens. And I have yet to see it happen on that one over there. And having blocks down along here doesn't actually help. Um, and having... I, was, I tried a bunch of things. I tried putting in uh, more slabs like this so the water would start and stop it that doesn't seem to help once it gets sort of glitched into the into a block like that it just kind of it just kind of stuck so there you go proof that i'm not crazy that it actually does happen oh i've got another one starting right there and it seems to have disappeared oh look and here it is i think that i think that's exactly what's happening it it popped out and went out through the side so this one might do that. And of course, if it sits on the ground, it'll despawn after, you know, a period of time anyway. But I think this one might, it might get unstuck, but it also might end up on the ground over here. So there you go. A little postscript, just wanting to show the actual evidence. And this hasn't been running that long. Um, I loaded it up with stuff and made it go again and uh just wanted to actually catch it happening on on video so you can see there you go thank you